Frank, great to see you again. Yeah, always a pleasure, Pat, and you look great in black. <laughs> Thanks. It's it's my dark color. Uh, Frank, when I think of Connie, I guess I think of, a, you know, originally a mining company. You've got a, a mines in Quebec and, and those kinds of things. But you've pivoted and you've moved into what you call a feed first strategy. What is that? What's that mean? Well, what we did here, Pat, uh, this is sort of like our, our second approach to this battery market. And a lot of people are not aware of the extreme potential that is really available. You know, this is still early stage. So what we did with the other company, we did what we call real time. In addition to a, we had a 60,000 meter drill program, we also went for permitting to develop the asset. And we went to look for buyers for our concentrate and our end product, which has been at that time cobalt sulfate. And we found that in Asia. So, you know, we went to Asia, we went to Japan, we went to China. And immediately, within two hours, we get a spec sheet. I mean... They're really organized there. So we came back and we said, I went to SGS and said, look, guys, uh, here's our concentrate we produce from our product, uh, you know, from our material in, in the cobalt camp. It's a 40%, 46% arsenic. So take the arsenic out and make a cobalt sulfate on spec. Sure enough, they produced it. And uh, so we sent the specs to, to the people in Asia and they said, great, uh, let's do this, you know? So I said, okay. And said, give me 10 kilos and then we'll give you a contract. So we went and did all this. So we really got ahead of ourselves that we found out trying to put a mine in production in Canada is a long-term thing. Mm. So we said, we're not going to make the same mistake. So we spun out this asset called Grawl, phenomenal drill results, early stage, great results. And I thought, you know what? Let's do this feed first strategy. So we went on a global hunt and we found cobalt, copper, nickel concentrates everywhere massive quantities what it was there were oxides so we found out why is nobody picking up the oxides that i remember why unless there's sulfur in it a smelter can't take it the economics are not there they can't smelt something without sulfur because sulfur is an energy unit for them that's why these oxides are are everywhere and you can get them really cheap and, and not just the concentrates but you can also get these stockpiles we were offered a 29 million ton stockpile Basically, the grade of that stockpile is better than the potential final grade of our drill deposit in, in northern Quebec. And it's Was that the one uh, you and I talked last time and you were talking about going to the DRC? Is that the stockpile you're talking about? Yeah, we, we were going to, you know, we were invited there by the governor to all this. And what's interesting, before we went out, it's, interesting, it's a small word. Everybody seems to know what you're doing. So he says, why don't you come visit our province? I said, okay, <laughs> so we didn't go, we didn't go visit the, there. And I thought, okay, maybe we'll see what these people offered. And in the interim, uh, a metal trader that's been around since 1847, which are based in, in Holland says, oh, look, Frank, we can get you feed, but we get you ship loads. We're not gonna ship you, you know, 20 super sacks and container. So I said, well, that sounds interesting because there are people in Investment Quebec got me a property by the port with rail services. He says, yeah, Frankie, you want to be on a global scale? You want to do something significant? You know what? Move quantities. And if we build this hydrometallurgical plant, which was in addition to the property and the power that was given to us, they offered us funding. Of course, you got to build it in Quebec, which we're okay with it. And the yeah, same thing was kind of offered to us in Germany, you know. Oh, okay, you make an interesting point because that, that means you don't have to use a smelter and you're using your process, which you've labeled... Re to ox. What is that? Well, re to ox basically re means reaction. We kind of shortened it. Two ox, there's actually two stages to the process. The first stage is battery uh, metals, and the second stage is precious metals. So the only thing we've been using so far in the process is the battery metal component. So normally we do our test work in stages. We, you know, kind of refine the stage, which we're doing right now with the battery metals. And then we'll go to our precious metal component. Like our property, Grawl, has also a lot of platinum group elements, which we never really discuss at any length. But to really be successful and compete globally, especially in the North American environment, uh, you need a precious metal component to offset any uncertainty trying to produce battery metals. Okay. Uh, and part of that process, you're collaborating with a company called SGS Quebec. Yeah. Who is that? SGS, they've been around for a very long time. Uh, we've worked with them for about 30 years. They're a uh, Swiss base. Uh, they're what I call top shelf. In other words, 
whatever they do, it's the best of the best. And, you know, uh, we originally used them to develop our process read to over basically a six-year time frame. Uh, we spent millions, $8 million to do this. Uh, so they don't want to produce a product for us for the Asian market. So H uh, SGS, uh, you know, they're working also in Quebec. Uh, we'll be working with the Quebec component, with Invest in Quebec, and uh, they work together. In other words, Invest in Quebec also likes them as much as we do because they know the quality of their work is, you know, top shelf. Okay, your product obviously is going to go into the electric vehicle uh, marketplace. Yeah. Uh, how soon can you get this to market, your products that you're spinning out of the R2 uh, Ox? It's kind of, a, you know, to build a leach plant is actually quite quick. You know, when, when you look at it, you can be probably built in 18 months or less. Eh? It's the permitting that on occasion takes forever and a day. Eh? You know, like we did another project in Quebec. It took us two years to get the permits. It, it's unbelievable. You know, if I go to the DRC, basically 90 days, you get your permits. So, you know, where do you build a plant, right? And uh, we were in Germany and they said, oh, don't worry about permits. We know how to do it. I said, okay. You know? So it comes to this. It, it, it comes to this. It's a permit thing, right? And that's all it is, all right? The faster okay. you get it, so you're, you're in production. Now, when the permitting process takes longer than building, but that right now we're looking at buyers. So we talked to Invest in Quebec of the end products. So they have to give me a spec sheet, which then we give to SGS. And then the materials will be brought in from wherever these people from Holland get it to us. And then we make an agreement whereby the end user buys the product. So we're going to set up as a tolling process. In other words, we don't buy the product. We just toll it for them. So in other words, the battery manufacturer says, Frank, I want cobalt sulfate on spec. This is what you're going to get. And uh, right now we're all being offered 200 to 500 tons a month. Uh, these cobalt hydroxide or cobalt, not hydroxide, but cobalt oxide uh, uh, concentrates, which have copper in them. But the Grawl project is continuing, as I take it. It's just going to oh, be yeah. a longer no, timeline. Is that what I'm hearing? No, we're going to drill it as well. We're going to drill it. I, I mean, the potential there is just enormous. And there's another group there in that area. You know, you look at what they did at Power Nickel. Phenomenal, beautiful results. Hopefully, you know, some of our drill results are prepared to theirs. Uh, they did a great job. So I think, you know, we're going to drill it. That's what we always do. Uh, so normally what we do is we call, we drill, we talk, and we never stop. So you look at what we've done with other companies, uh, we usually increase it significantly in value. And and what's the timeline on the growl then? Two or three years, as you say? Well, to finally drill that all out, it's it's uh, depending. Like we're looking for very specific drillers, which we use over history. Uh, the real value to growl is a deep target. It's it's a growl is actually a grail. If you look at it on our PowerPoint presentation, you notice it's shaped like a funnel. The area is known for these super high grades at depth. So far, we only did the shallow stuff because we're looking for strike lengths. So we got about six kilometers. We don't know still how long this is, but six kilometers strike length is significant. You will notice on that uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, we're drilling away from uh, uh, from the the, the 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 target. So our our next uh, drill program, uh, like I said, we did a small financing for about six hundred thousand uh, dollars. We did it above market. You know, the market's trading at eight to nine cents. We did it at 12 cents and we've got about 600,000. We'll see how the market responds. The market goes up, then we'll hit it with a drill program. We usually drill only in the winter to minimize damage to the terrain. Uh, you know, like uh, you're up north and, you know, it, it's the terrain is very, very sensitive. In other words, you step on a tree there, you kind of kill something that was 80 years old. So you, we kind of take our, our, we're careful about that. And uh, even our drillers, these are the people we use for 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 years. Uh, in other words, they don't leave behind, uh, uh, they leave kind of beauty behind, is that what I call it. They're very careful, they're very nice, and uh, that's what we like to work with people that, you know, respect the environment. Yeah, environmental sensitivity. Frank, yeah. what a great story. Thanks very much for sharing it. Pat, wonderful. Oh, it's a pleasure. Like I said, you definitely look good in black. <laughs> Be well, Frank. Talk soon. You too. Thank you.